someone has to say it. I'm gonna be the one who is gonna be saying it. And sorry, but I like Diablo 4. I played through the beta and I liked it. I honestly, I don't understand the people why they are bashing the game so much. Every time I open social media about the game, I'm not seeing any sort of positivity. I'm not seeing any sort of fan art. I see two things. Critics about the game, how it's horrible, it's unplayable, expectations are not met and the fan base are disgusted and furious about the changes added or was added already and we've seen them and we dislike them so much that we can't stand or we won't play the game or game trailers all right e even the game tra trailers are being disliked what is going on i honestly i don't know diablo 4 and diablo community i know for a fact because i did my own research have a tendency to dislike new titles if the title is not the same as before, the game is going to be disliked. I made a video about this and I think I'm going to be posting it here right on the screen so you could see. But this is not about that. I want to emphasize, emphasize on the point that why people are trying to look for similarities in other games and try to idealize that the new game is going to revolutionize, going to change the things. Throughout the years and throughout the history and wheels of time, there was two types of people always. The ones that are saying that we need to change things, change is for the better, or the people that say well, enough of change, let's just stick with the things that we have currently as they work perfectly fine. And those, those types of people never come together and they can never get along as there's no ultimate, um, ultimate bridge that could just close the gap between those two ideas. There's always a sacrifice and there's always a fight between the community and there's always a fight, I believe, within developers and within the Blizzard team. But ultimately, when you are buying a new game and there's like so many titles out there, when you're buying a new game, you are expecting to get more enhanced version, more better version more tweaks more things added to the game if to comparison you have different mechanics that is not the ones that you loved on previous titles it doesn't mean that those kind of mechanics was not addressed or was not discussed when they were creating the game it's most likely that those mechanics such as focusing only on skill trees and not focusing on items as Diablo 3 did, right? Community disliked this so much. But the fact that community expected like clone of Diablo 2 skills, it's just bizarre to me. I, I, I can't understand. This is, they're, they're just speaking nonsense. Blizzard had their discussions. Blizzard had the valuations. And if Team Blizzard, based on some sort of analytics, metrics, popularity, uh, pools that they made within the within the audience, within the BlizzCons, uh, collecting metrics, collecting st status and data from all over the games, decided that, uh, hey, old mechanics that worked back in the day, not going to work this time. And this is too much of a change for us to handle. And we don't want to gamble on these ideas they're gonna focus on making the best game they can with as little change as possible so that they could keep the player base entertained focused and happy they cannot make everyone happy that's impossible it's like i'm gonna use comparison to like a cake just imagine 10 people liking cakes each and every one are either chef or experts in eating cakes, eating cakes and they have different tastes and different sort of things that they like about the cake, right? Imagine creating a cake or any sort of dish so that each and every chef would say, ah, bellissimo, I love the cake, it's the best. It's impossible. One guy or a woman, one, one chef gonna say, hey, the cake's too big. Other one gonna say, it's too sour. Uh, next one, where's the cherries on the top? And each and every chef has their 
idea and perception what is the perfect game in in this in this scenario i'd be saying what is the perfect game and come on if you play druid and uh, speak well yeah speaking about the classes if you're if you're playing druid and you notice that hey if i'm not using certain legendaries my skills kind of suck and uh, i can't really enjoy the game as other classes well maybe that was intentional maybe the intention is absolutely different not only focusing on hurricane so that you could be having full and enjoyable gameplay maybe your idea is to serve a purpose as a tank or just uh, be a crowd control some sort of uh, person rather than damage dealer or being on the top damage charts maybe some things will be improved who knows looking into other classes right like terms such as i mentioned those even before in my uh, diablo 4 inspirational video i believe that you don't need to follow any of the guides as people at blizzard they're gonna make sure that each and every one of us who's gonna download the game play the game will have the best experience we can have without need to buy the books learn the mechanics too much or learn about skill trees before game launch i did that i have not researched any sort of guides how to play the game i have not researched any sort of skill trees how to make my class viable or good i did it on my own i just read the description and added the skill points and abracadabra i went through the game i had such a blast and good experience about the game if I wanted to make this game like a first person shooter, I have thousand or even more comments so that I could make this game into shooter. But for that, I would need to change the game. And if people are going to the comment sections on, on Reddit, on Facebook, and they bash the thing about the game that they dislike certain things, or Necromancer is overpowered, Barbarian is just feels unrewarding and it's too hard to start it just it could start giving you a headache as it did for me i'm trying to look into positive things about the game but in order for me so i could find positivity about the game and changes first i need to surf through the complaints um negative aspects and the horrible experience that people had and I'm not even speaking about like technical issues. I'm speaking about like the core game mechanics. Some people complain how things are being controlled. Some people complain about layout. Some buttons are missing. But come on, this game was in develop development for such a long time. And Blizzard is not like a 10 or 20 or 100 people company. Blizzard is a huge company and they have top tier developers, top tier designers looking into everything so that they could make everything pitch perfect. I'm, I understand that I'm not making much of a sense as I'm not native English speaker, but I, I hope I do. <laughs> they made decision based on the majority of the market and how much of the people and how likely people would be playing the game if the game would have this feature and how likely people would not be buying the game if the game had this feature looking into comparison to like this just one topic of diablo 2 and diablo 4 if you would have skills that you cannot refund without going to npc and resetting everything at once well first things first Diablo 2 fanbase was, well, discussed about the fact that, whoa, you, you can't do that. It, they promised Diablo 2 clone, but it's not like that. And it's, whoa, it's crazy. But they added such thing. You have like a cost to your skill resets. You don't need to kill monsters, well, directly so that you could get some certain item to return the skills. You have like, you need to kill monsters so that you could kill gold. And if you want to respect, you need to spend gold it's it's good it's okay it's not like diablo 3 where it's just do whatever 
it's uh, it's it's for me it's it's really hard to well really look into any sort of uh, diablo 4 content and see any sort of light uh, when it comes to, to, to the game so that i could honestly make some sort of compelling or interesting video right away i'm not complaining I'm, i will be making videos one way or another but it's just emotionally draining as again i need to surf through so much negativity about the about the game and youtubers are doing this they're complaining about so much people so much things that are mentioned about the game and the fact that the game is so bad they have to collect all of the complaints and make a huge compilation video about bad things that has that is within the game did you ever wonder that could it be that we are given the version of beta that is like one year old and all of the issues that we are addressing is just uh, uh, feedback so we could improve the game and all of the technical aspects uh, are sorted and all of the skills connections everything is going to be different have you given a thought to that no the original thought and original criticisms of the game that happens on all of the social medias here is that diablo 4 bad old game good and it's not true i have versions of all of the diablo games instead of diablo first um and i played diablo 3 before i played diablo 4 i like the game but at some point i think like one weekend i get tired of the game i burn out it doesn't really matter how long i spend in the game i just burn out the game is is for me very dull and uh, lack challenging challenges if I don't feel like it, if I'm invested, I'm gonna spend so much time and I can spend months gearing my character and playing the game. It really depends on, I don't know, it depends on the moon and how likely I am to play the game or not. And recently, um, since Diablo 4 beta has ended, I returned back to Diablo 2 Resurrected, as I really haven't played the game uh, for such a long time, for, well, since there was no seasons. So I created a ladder character, I played it through the ladder, reached uh, like level 90 and then decided, hey, I'm doing like solo farms, I'm solo farming everything, why don't I just create a offline character, a single player? And I did that. And I think like four days in, and I understood that even though the game's old and it, it has some sort of good things that I can't forget about the game, the atmosphere, atmosphere, the music, the complexities, the, the skills, the everything. But after the years, all those things kind of stop glowing. Despite the nostalgia, despite the complexities of the game, despite the mechanics and so many items that I can collect in the game. As I recently discovered the Holy Grail add-on that collects how much of the unique items and rune words you apply and use in the game at some point you need to come up with challenges on your own and doing the same thing over and over again and just creating challenges on your own is just wow it's fun but it's not a long lasting strategy personally for me and i like diablo 3 seasons where um, you have new perks that you can try out in the season and next season that they're gonna be totally different So you have a way that you can return to the game in, in my mind Diablo 2 don't really have that much of a change when seasons change and Looking into Diablo 4 Not only the game gonna be absolutely new and there's gonna be like a paragon system in the game but we're gonna have a dynamic dungeons we're gonna have um, a skill system that we can improve. There's gonna be legendaries that we can apply. Come on, there's so many things that we can learn about the game. Despite the fact that so many classes, shared inventory. Oh man, there's even minor things like potion crafting. It's such a huge game and automatically giving a thumbs down uh, to the end release trailer from the Blizzard because uh, there's so many critics. Oof. 
This is like summoning bad karma on you. There are so many people that tried so hard making this game so good. And I really, I, I can't stand the negativity. I believe that this video can collect a lot of dislikes. I'm gonna be making this uh, as, a, as a cool as I could. Honestly, I can't wait for Diablo 4 release. Despite what anyone says, I like the game. I can't wait to play. If you like this too, let me know down in the comments below. And that's it. That's my take. Thank you guys for watching and uh, hopefully I didn't scare you so much.